Welcome to my channel, subscribe to learn more about the active ingredients of the medicines. Today we will explain etanogestrel, nexplanon, implanon, what is etanogestrel, what is nexplanon, implanon, etanogestrel, side effects, dosage, contraindications, warnings, mechanism of action, pregnancy, breastfeeding and more. What is etanogestrel implant? Etanogestrel is a hormone that prevents ovulation, release of an egg from an ovary. It also causes changes in your cervical mucus and uterine lining, which makes it harder for sperm to move into the uterus, and makes it harder for the fertilized egg to attach to the uterus. The etanogestrel implant is used for birth control and endometriosis. The brand names for etanogestrel are, Nexplanon, Implanon, Circlet, Nuva Ring. Mechanism of Action of Etanogestrel Implant for subcutaneous use, non-biodegradable, radio-opaque, containing etanogestrel, inhibits ovulation, also causes changes in the cervical mucus, which hinders the passage of sperm. Therapeutic Indications of Etanogestrel Contraception Safety and Efficacy in Women Between 18 and 40 Years Old Pathology of Etanogestrel Implant Subcutaneous it is an implant, which can remain inserted for three years. It should be inserted just under the skin on the inner side of the upper arm avoiding the channel, groove, between the biceps and triceps muscles where the large blood vessels and nerves of the deepest neurovascular bundle in the subcutaneous tissue are located. Mode of administration of etanogestrel. It should be inserted and removed only by healthcare professionals who have completed training sessions in the use of the implant applicator and insertion and removal techniques and who, when necessary, request supervision prior to implant insertion or removal. Side effects and adverse reactions of etanogestrel. Vaginal infection. Increased appetite. Emotional weakness, depressed mood, nervousness, decreased libido. Headache, dizziness. Hot flushes, abdominal pain, nausea, flatulence, acne, alopecia, breast pain on palpation, breast pain, irregular menstruation, dysmenorrhea, ovarian cyst, pain at the site of the implant, reaction at the site of the implant, fatigue, flu-like illness, pain, weight gain or loss. Contraindications of etanogestrel implant. Hypersensitivity to etanogestrel. Active venous thromboembolism. Neoplasms sensitive to sex hormones, steroids, diagnosed or suspected. Diagnosis or history of liver tumors, benign or malignant. Diagnosis or history of severe liver disorders until liver function values have normalized. Undiagnosed vaginal bleeding. Pregnancy and etanogestrel. Not indicated in pregnant women. If pregnancy occurs, the implant should be removed. In animal studies it may cause virilization of female fetuses. Lactation with etanogestrel. It does not influence the quantity or quality, protein, lactose or fat levels, of the mother's milk. However, small amounts of etanogestrel are excreted in the mother's milk. Based on a daily milk intake of 150 milliliters slash kg, the average daily dose taken by the infant, calculated after one month of intake would be approximately 27 nanograms slash kg slash day. This amount corresponds to approximately 2.2% of the mother's daily dose, adjusted for weight, and approximately 0.2% of the mother's estimated absolute dose. Subsequently, the concentration of etanogestrel in the milk decreases over time during the nursing period. Limited long-term data have been obtained for 38 children whose mothers initiated the use of the implant in the 4 to 8 weeks postpartum. The children were breastfed for an average time of 14 months, and were followed up until 36 months of age. Assessment of growth, and physical and psychomotor development indicated no difference compared to infants whose mothers used an IUD. However, the child's growth and development should be carefully monitored. Effects on driving ability and etanogestrel Based on its pharmacodynamic profile, it is not expected to have a detectable effect on the ability to drive and use machines. Warnings and precautions with etanogestrel. Liver failure, breast cancer, venous thromboembolism, VTE, 
deep vein thrombosis and pulmonary embolism, and arterial thromboembolism, ASD, myocardial infarction and ischemic stroke. History of thromboembolic disorders, ADH, diabetes, history of gestational cloasma, obesity, risk of ovarian cysts and ectopic pregnancy. There have been reports, both during pregnancy and during the use of sex steroids, although the relationship with the use of progestogens has not been established, of, jaundice and or pruritus related to cholestasis. Formation of gallstones, porphyria, systemic lupus erythematosus, S, hemolytic uremicus, sitinum chorea, gestational herpes, hearing loss related to otosclerosis and angioedema, hereditary. Cases of implant displacement in the arm from the insertion site have been reported, which may be related to deep insertion, or to external causes, for example implant manipulation or contact sports. There have also been rare, post-marketing cases of implants located inside the vessels of the arm and in the pulmonary artery, which may be related to deep insertions or intravascular insertion. In cases where the implant has moved into the arm from the insertion site, the location of the implant may be more difficult and removal may require a minor surgical procedure with a major incision or a surgical procedure performed in the operating room. In cases where the implant has moved into the pulmonary artery, endovascular or surgical procedures may be necessary for removal. If at any time the implant cannot be felt, it must be located and removal is recommended as soon as clinically possible. Failure to remove the implant may prolong the contraceptive effect beyond the time desired by the woman and also risk progestogen-related adverse effects. Women should be advised to contact their doctor if they experience changes in mood and depressive symptoms, even if they appear shortly after starting treatment, as depression can be serious and is a recognized risk factor associated with suicidal behavior and suicide. Liver Failure with Etonogestrel Contraindicated in severe liver impairment. Caution in acute or chronic hepatic impairment. Interactions with the tonogestrel. Efficacy diminished by barbiturates, bosentan, carbamazepine, phenytoin, primidone, rifampicin, and substances for the treatment of HIV-HCV such as ritonavir, afavirenz, bosepravir, nevirapine and possibly also felbamate, griziafulvin, oxcarbazepine pyrimate and products containing the medicinal plant. St. John's Wort, Hypericum perforatum. Increased plasma levels, potent type 3A4 inhibitors, for example ketoconazole, itraconazole, clarithromycin, or moderate, for example fluconazole, diltiazem, erythromycin. Increases plasma concentrations of, cyclosporin. Decreases plasma concentrations of, Lamotrigine. 